Okay, so this is the local beach I was at yesterday. That's Fishing Rock. So you can see how much more shallow this beach is compared to where I was yesterday, as well as the sand here is that really fine grainy sand. Uh, the reason I'm coming down here is because I just got a text from Dow that he was gonna fish here. So I'm just gonna go say hi to him, but I could see him. He just walked out to the surf um, literally just a few seconds ago. But I kind of wanted to warn him about the rip I was at yesterday. Uh, two week period, but this will be like the, I think the third, maybe even fourth time I've seen Dow. And I think all of last year I only saw him like three or four times. So uh, I feel very fortunate to be able to talk to one of the best anglers on the coast. Here you go. Oh, he's looking for sand crabs. Let's see if he gets any. Being his typical self said he got here about midnight, uh, but he hasn't been fishing the entire time. He had to wait for low tide to go pump uh, sand shrimp. But again, he spends countless hours here. He's been to Lost Creek, Seal Rock, uh, and this is his third beach. But um, he has only, he got one, he said, at Lost Creek and uh, between Lost Creek and Seal Rock. As I was remarking in my one of my other videos before, Dow is probably one of the hardest casters uh, I've been around and seen. But when he whips his rod, again, you can hear a whistle through the air. But again, like I say, I've just started fishing this beach uh, seriously, so I'm still learning it. But I'm going to stay on the south side from now on. So action's been slow for me no matter uh, where I've gone. And again, he's been putting in a lot of hours at Lost Creek, Seal Rock, uh, Curtis Street. Uh, he's even put in a lot of time at Wade Creek. And you know, so if Dow can't catch, then you know, conditions are, are pretty tough. Started, I'm guessing about maybe 75 yards down to the right where I first saw him and met him. And he has drifted down here. And he, as soon as he casted right here, he got a bite uh, right away. It may be 10 minutes, but I can tell that he's getting ready to give up already. Oh, he got a bite. I think he got a bite. He uh, jerked on it. Oh, I think he got a bite. He might have a fish. For about 15 minutes, I think he's got in about maybe uh, four casts, maybe five. But he got one bite. So far that's been it, but I think I'm gonna head back up. I just came to say hi. And I always like to say, I always like to say hello to club members, but uh, especially some of the top anglers that uh, I get a chance to meet on the Oregon coast. Hey Dow, I'm gonna take off. Hey, you gonna go to Wade late? Were you getting, bite? were you getting bites? That's what I thought. Cause I saw you try to set the hook. We still must be getting bites because I just saw him try and set the hook. Because he raised his head to me and I could see him messing with his catch bag. So I'm pretty sure he got one. He was going to text me if he did. Well, crap, maybe I should get my pole and come back. <laughs> so that was an unexpected uh, interruption in my morning, but I always like to take the time to say hi to Dow. I only get to meet him like three or four times a year or so. I always try and take the opportunity to see him when I can. Uh, problem is he never gives me much notice. He gave me like two minutes notice, which is I'm here. So luckily I live close enough to walk, um, walk down to the beach and talk to him. All right, Jay, I got four good size. <laughs> 